All right, guys, welcome to episode 41 of Don't Talk TV. It's yours truly, low key. Got John here with me, got Miguel here yo, with yo. me, got Toby here with me. Going on, We're guys? back with another Toby, episode, man. man. We appreciate everybody that's been rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing, thumbs up, all that good shit. Continue to do that. We will be doing the giveaway at a thousand subscribers. And we've been growing with the subscribers, man. It's, it's going up. So yeah, we, we appreciate are. everybody. Sure. And again, we're going to be doing a giveaway at a thousand. So keep sharing and keep letting people know. But yeah, man, we're vibing tonight, boys. Yeah, we're bro. fucking chilling, bro. Right? We chilling, we chilling. Yeah, thank you guys for having us, for real, for real. Nice. Yeah, y'all niggas real. the bros, man. Y'all the bros. But, um, but yeah, man, we're kind of lit, guys. We're going to let y'all know off oh, yeah. We've been fucking smoking joy after joy for the past, like, Talking two Talking shit hours. for, like, two hours before bro. we even go to shit store. <laughs> <laughs> for real, we lit, but we in this bitch, though. For real, for real. Nah, man. But yeah, man, fucking. Fuck fuck oh, shit, I don't even got to lie to you. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yeah, take it away, John. What you want to talk about, bro? Nah, man. Fucking. Uh, I don't know about y'all, man, but I don't know if y'all got the ant eater or if y'all got the fucking torpedo. But I'll tell you what. I got the ant eater. I don't know if it's all right. You know, I don't know if the if it's if it's a bad thing or not. I don't know. But some females like it. Some females don't. You know what I mean? It's all right. But I don't think it's okay for. Somebody to cut another man's tip of the penis. You're talking about circumcised. You talking about shit? getting circumcised, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah, think. I don't, I don't think. It's I'm about to okay. say we're talking about torpedo. I mean, right? honestly, bro, I feel like. <laughs> yeah, like. <laughs> you, <laughs> you, <laughs> you got a torpedo <laughs> or yeah? Y'all got a torpedo or ant eater? I heard that shit. It was funny. It was a joke. Ant eater. I've never heard that shit. Nah, fuck. It's like a porno. But. <laughs> but nah, bro, that ass, like, I don't, my personal opinion with it is, like, bro, some religions, you know what I'm saying, they do it because of the religion fact, but if it's for health, it, that shit don't make no sense because there's no health risk. There's no, like, yeah. you know, you're not going to be healthier for doing this, so I don't know, man. Unless you got, like, an infection there or something, they have to take that off and shit. I mean, Facts. Yeah, I mean, it's different. There probably have been kids that got circumcised older because they didn't know how to take care of themselves. That, that shit must be painful. Jesus. Yeah, that's fucked. Well, that and that's some and stuff. some re, re, religions do it when they're older because that's how they are. Like, I, I don't know which religion it is, but I know one of them doesn't do it till they're like 14 or 15 years, years old. Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> Swear to God. Yeah, I don't I'll know which one it is. I'll my parents in the fucking face. Swear I'm like, yo, you're not touching my dick. Nah. Like, it's like your 14th birthday. Here you go. Yeah, I'll work. <laughs> nah, but Happy I've birthday. never met like a girl that's been like, oh, like, you're not circumcised? Yeah, no, nah, it don't like, really I, like, matter. I've bro. always met, like, every girl that I've been with, they've been like, wow, like, they're happy. It's like they don't see it. I don't know if it's, like, just not a common thing. <laughs> don't see it. <laughs> no, bro, they see it. If you just know, if you know how to take care of yourself, though, it's not going to be an issue. Yeah, I know, but it's just, it's crazy. Yeah, I mean, really the only benefit to circumcising is, like, maybe it's a little bit cleaner because then, you know, you don't really... You gotta watch yourself as much as you would with all the extra skin, but past that, it's really for a choice, I think. I feel like yeah, it's an armadillo. John, stop throwing fucking random words out there. This is why you got armadillos and eaters and fucking tornadoes and shit. Nah, bro, it's just up to the parents. It's up to the parents, but it, it's, you know what I'm saying? If your kid's un uncircumcised, it's not really gonna make much of a difference. I feel, and you know, their their sex life or personal life, whatever. Like, I feel like that's an ignorant fucking female if she's like, "Oh, you're uncircumcised." Like, unless it's about her religion, it's like, what the fuck does it matter? Even then, bro, like we have the freedom to express ourselves however we want to feel, you know. That that or even yeah, if you just happen to be Facts. completely nasty and don't take care of yourself. Oh shit! I saw a meme. I was then, yeah. I saw a meme we'll that. on Facebook and shit, whatever, and I. I I just wanted to talk about it. Yeah, and it was women that were arguing about it. I was like, where are the men at? Like, it's about us. Like, yeah, for why real. Why are women arguing about how men deserve this and that? Because of you, Kyle, man. that's women, attacked. bro. That's women, bro. It's just they're caring, I guess. <coughs> you know? Maybe they got sons. Maybe they had yeah, an argument they with their sons, husband about it. They have husbands, you know? Yeah. They have brothers and shit. And they feel a certain type of way. That's, that's interesting. Yeah, but at the end of the day, most of us didn't really have a voice. Most of us that well, like whoever got circumcised. Yeah, you know, you yeah, yeah. This kid, you grow up and you're like, oh shit, 
whatever the fuck you said, torpedo, antelope, whatever the hell. I'll tell you what, I know a torpedo and I know a burrito when I see one. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro, but nah, but I know a fucking chick, man. That fucking shit in my car. She gets the fuck out of here. Went straight for it. You talking like pooted on, on your seat? No, yeah. Skeeted and shitted right on the seat. No. So she has, she just, I don't know. She must have <laughs> ate a fucking burrito. <laughs> she went to Taco Bell and then went straight to the club. She Dude. had a torpedo burrito that night. And she had a geez. torpedo burrito. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Fuck so, out of Now we were chilling, we were smoking a joint. No facts. And I just got the focus. You know, I just oh got it. Oh my god. Like cloth was, seats, guys. It was by that the way. year, bro. Cloth seats. And I'm sitting there and I'm smoking with her. You know, she had a Jimmy John sandwich right between her legs. That was her excuse the whole time. John oh wanted to give her a Jimmy John. God. But listen, I'm like, I'm smoking her Jimmy John. She's like, it got quiet. Bro. <laughs> 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 I'm. I'm halfway through the joint and then she's like, I gotta go. I'm like, why? Go. I'm like, why? We're fine. We're chilling. Like, I thought we were gonna like vibe. Like, she got. She meant like she had to go. Like she had to go. Go. I was like, all right. <laughs> so she left and I was like, all right. So she left and gave her a hug. Nothing smelt. Nothing was weird. I went to the Seven Eleven downstairs in the elevator. I took the elevator. I came back up five minutes later just to grab a L. You know, that was when I was smoking blunts and shit. I fucking come back to the car. I open up the car. I get in normally, I roll the L normally, have the windows down, just like a normal night after work. I back up, you know, I throw my hand and my phone on the passenger seat, and I feel a goddamn fucking moisture. I don't know what the fuck it was. I don't know, it was under my, my fingernails. Oh it was fucking gross. My God. Yo, are you sure Bumpman just like come and send you shit? Nah, bro. <laughs> It was a cold night. It was a warm place. Poor fucking girl. No, no, no. no. I actually, no. That's not what happened. Because I locked up. Bro, it's on the sixth floor. Bro, I'm telling you, the security walking up and down. You probably like, shit in your car. Right? No, no one shit. She, yeah, she, she, she shat in my fucking car. And you know what? <laughs> and you know what? She, I, I told her. Tell her brother. I did. I texted. I sent right? her a picture of it. That night. And I looked up. It was shit on the fucking seat. Yeah, I would have been upset because you had to touch that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, no, that was. Part so of I told her, I said, "You gotta clean it, or I'm gonna tell everybody." <laughs> <laughs> and guess, you could have just kept it at like, "Yo, you gotta clean it up." So you but, owe me fifty dollars. Like, I, like I didn't even owe me like, fifty top and a new. It fucking, was. It uh, could have been, yo, let's cover. fuck. But you know, I don't even want to touch you. You nasty. No, nah, no, nah, yeah, that's excessive. Like, why wouldn't you say you gotta go to the bathroom? And it's not leather, it yeah. was cloth. You know what I mean, like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's not leather. Oh, so you still that's got that stain to this day, then? Oh, what yeah, you're yeah. Saying. And it's light cloth, too. It's like that little light gray cloth. You know? <laughs> that little friendly So you see that, you see that like poop that. juice to this day. Yeah, bro. I'm about to say. It's still there. Big old <laughs> nice round doogie spot. <laughs> Note to self, never take a girl out for Jimmy John's. You need, you need no some more, time. Bro. Yo, facts, fucking Jimmy John's. <laughs> but nah, boys, real shit. Let's get into some real life fucking shit real quick, man. If y'all boys had a choice, would you choose, you know, the day that you're going to die to know the day that you're going to die or the way that you're going to die? Hmm. That's a real choice, bro. Like, that's a yeah, that's, like, that's choice. a choice. That's like, damn. How y'all think about Cause it? Cause like if you figure it out, right? Like you say, let's pick the day, right? And it's like, damn, I die tomorrow. It's like, fuck. Yeah, now you're pissed. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but oh, fuck. Wasted a choice. Like what the fuck, bro? Like I'm done. So you rather have like you rather know what way you're gonna die? Yeah, I I, I, w I would know the way I would know the way that I um, I would take the you rather yeah. know the way than the day yeah I, I yeah I'll, 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 yeah definitely. I agree yeah. The, the way because I feel like I would have a chance to save myself to avoid it right that's exactly how I feel too man yep I feel like I'd rather know the way than the day yeah that absolutely. way you could I mean by the end of the day fuck bro either way it's fucked <laughs> yeah because if you know the way then that's gonna like you're gonna fear whatever it is way that you're supposed to go like if they say oh and and then like what if it's just like something vague like oh, yeah in exactly a, in a v vehicle you're like bro that could be a bus a fucking plane a fucking car it's like fuck bro 
Either way, it's tough, man, but I agree with it, though. I, I think I definitely think it'd be a little easier with knowing the way than the day, because yeah. when you know the day, then you're just counting it down, and you still don't know how it's going to happen. You're just going to be like, oh, I'm dying. When? Now, that day, you're yeah. so paranoid. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. People yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, what's wrong with this nigga, yo? Yeah, you're like, you think, like, fuck, dog, you don't today's the day. You don't understand. You don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> yo, I want to start being paranoid, man. Now, but honestly, bro. All bullshit aside, not to get no, you know, not to get all preachy and shit, but we all do got to start living our life like tomorrow is the last day. Like, we got to start living yeah. with less fear and less, you know what I'm saying? Just, like, making Make better choices, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. For real. That's true. That's true. And then, the, I mean, the world's getting scary, man. Like The world's just, getting you, fucking insane, bro. Like, crazy shit's happening. Nuts. You guys are telling me fucking monkeys crazy are... Crazy shit's monkey. happening. I'll tell you what's fucking crazy. Monkeys. A group of monkeys in <laughs> India swipe blood samples from coronavirus <laughs> patients from a local <laughs> medical college, Jeez. stoking fears they could further the virus spread in nearby regions. <laughs> so we got fucking monkeys, groups of monkeys pulling up and hitting licks on Indian doctors, though. <laughs> yo, yo, we need that basket of samples, though. We out. Again, what did what you say? What they do? <laughs> it's like, damn, they don't know what's going on in our own backyard. But yeah, you know, in India, a group of fucking monkeys stole a COVID sample out of Fact. all things, dog. They just <laughs> like ran down the block, yo. a few people, and it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> they bit like six people and ran off. But they don't know what's going on in our own backyard. <laughs> but they know what's going on in India, bro. It's just crazy. Yo, that shit's insane to me, bro. I wanted a pet monkey. I told you guys that from the jump. I feel like monkeys, monkeys are, they'll turn on you, bro. I don't know what it is. I've always felt like that. That is. The real question is, how is a whole it's group like of monkeys close enough to an Indian doctor to get COVID blood samples? Like, y'all just leaving that out in the open? Like, now, what are yeah, you doing? Yeah, like, first of all, <laughs> you leaving it at the you? entrance? You Do your going? windows just have bars? Like, like you can just slide through? Were like, you walking down the street? Do you not have a car? Like, on them, to be honest. Yeah, they could be. Whoa. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? That's wild. They do that. You know how they test animals with shampoo? I'm too lit for this, boys. Oh. Yeah, shampoo. <laughs> Very true, because it never said if they were wild or lab monkeys. Oh, it just said a group of mo- monkeys. Fucking God. Yo, Planet of the Apes. <laughs> All over. No. Oh, but for real this bro. time. Yo, buy one of those monkeys. Teach you how to, like, English and shit. Nah, bro. for real, bro. Have that nigga translate for us, We need a chimpanzee, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Sure. Yeah, that nigga, I want that nigga to fucking just. No, nah, they're more powerful. Chef it up. But fuck it, you want a monkey to like cook for you and shit? That would be pretty. Bro, I just get like a bro, beautiful like, like mate. Like full blown kid though, for real. Nah, nah, he is. Like you get a monkey. Kind of, you nah, get a bro. Imagine like that. that thing fucking starting to fling shit all over the house, bro. It ain't like a fucking puppy and just shit in the corner. Nah. This motherfucker's on your chandelier throwing shit I'll put a, to the wall. I'll just put a little you're shock. Put, a little shock collar. A shock. Yo, that thing is gonna fuck you up, Jack. <laughs> no, <laughs> you and your monkey are gonna be in that bitch tussling. I swear to God. I'm right. gonna grab a pile of shit and pelt it at you. Yo, that shit will yeah. fuck you up. And <laughs> they're, gonna show, they're gonna see that shit and be like, yo. Let's call Humane Society. Look at this nigga. With fucking, <laughs> a shot collar on his monkey. That's a beautiful. Nah. Swear, held up like that lady that got her face ripped off by the orangutan for a burger. Oh my out. god. Yeah, I saw that. R.I.P. That nah. shit's fucked. Nah, she didn't die, but her yeah, face did. She, 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 she did, but she ain't good. Oh, this was a piece of shit. She didn't die, but her face did. Now, but that just goes, <laughs> that just goes, <laughs> he's a piece of shit. I just go so fucking show you, bro. Like, that ass, like, a wild animal is a wild animal. I don't give a fuck. Oh, I raised it, yeah? Well, guess what? One day that fucking liger <laughs> is going to get pissed about the fucking small-ass T-bone steaks you're throwing in that shit. He's going to try to eat your dumb ass. Swear to God, I'll look at you and be like, you got one giant steak on your ass. Bro. <laughs> nah, that's not cool. No, a wild animal is a wild animal, bro. Like, shit be crazy. Nah, I don't want to go to the jungle. The jungle is like... <laughs> Somewhere I Imagine I being not stuck survive. in the middle of the Amazon, my G. Oh, shit. Nah. I ain't what would you do? What would be your first instinct if you were just be like dropped off in the middle of the Amazon with no tools, no nothing? What would you do? Honestly, bro, I'd probably just sit down and contemplate a few things, you know? <laughs> Dog, I'm going fishing. Like, yo, reality's <laughs> real. Yeah, this, this shit sucks, bro. Everything's real right nah, now. Nah, I'm not going to lie, bro. I'd probably tap into my fucking savage... 
I'll probably start eating like turtles and shit. I don't fucking know, bro. I try to figure out a way, a food source and a water source for sure. He's the first one getting Corona, bro. <laughs> no, I'm the, first, I'm the first one that's gonna eat a fucking. Be like, oh, I thought you got love. Yeah, you got. <laughs> fucking eat the rock. Eat the iguana, bitch. <laughs> 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 <And I'm> like, <laughs> My stomach fucking twirling and shit. You're paralyzed and shit. You I'm know like what's going on shaking here. and fucking. <laughs> nah, bro. Having seizures. And Season shit. out all that. Nah, it would nah. suck because it's like, damn, you're really out there. No signal, no nothing. You can't communicate nah, with anybody. Bro, I watch I Shouldn't Be Alive all the time. And that <laughs> show makes me laugh. Because these niggas are dumb enough to do the dumbest shit and then survive. Like... Be like, yeah, bro, I was flowing in the middle of the Pacific for eight days straight. It's oh, like, shit. what the fuck, bro? Like, who, like, and who told you to the go paddle time. to the middle of the fucking ocean on a rowboat? <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck, bro? You ever heard currents and shit? Like, <laughs> bro. But so, sometimes it's their dream, you know? It's like, I want to go row a boat, but it's like, it comes with consequences too, you know? Nah, facts. But that's what any sport, man. Yeah, that's what any true, sport. True. That's true. Sports are fucking crazy, man. Fucking snowboarding. I've never been snowboarding. Yo. But I've seen it on like... These niggas are wild. You know, the Olympics and stuff like that. And I see these motherfuckers flipping and jumping. And I'm like, man. Like, I wish I could do that type of shit. Yeah, I, it's it's amazing. It's for sure. Bro. That shit's But awesome. it's the shit that like, our fat asses are trying to do it and fall and be like, oh, you break your back on the first fucking half pipe jump. <laughs> You're just like, fuck, bro. I knew I shouldn't have stayed home, bro. Like, what the fuck? Like... Yeah. Yeah, I'm not doing that shit. Fuck nah, that shit's too much, man. You know, that or you'll be that guy that eats it right off the ski lift. Bro, that'd probably be me. <laughs> I, bro, skateboarding and shit like that never been my thing. I'm too big for that shit, man. <laughs> Y'all see me, man. I'm fucking 6'6", six, six, dog. I don't need to be riding a snowboard, a fucking skateboard. <laughs> no type of board, though. I'll be all right. <laughs> so I'll be I, all right. I heard uh, McGregor's going to fight uh, Anderson Silver. Get the fuck out of here. I heard about that, too. I heard it's, confir- I heard it's confirmed. McGregor's getting I mean, his ass whooped again. Why does he do this to himself? I don't know. But I, I got my money on McGregor. I got my money on Anderson, so... I got my money on McGregor. I, I feel like he's going to win. Y'all boys are fucking I haven't really wild. kept up with them, honestly. Man. I feel like they're well, both hey, washed up, hey, but... Y'all go down in the comments up. and let us know let who us y'all know. rocking with, McGregor or Silva. No. I'm going. If it's Anderson Silva, y'all boys are asleep. Yeah, no, nah, it's Anderson Silva, it but is. nah, he 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 kind of outdated now, man. Yeah, he's yeah, old. He's, he's older, but I don't mean shit. True, the wind is old, out. but that shit still blow. Nah, I'm telling nah, you, bro. Nah, I feel like he's he's gonna win. But uh, well, it depends. It's Has all he been about training low key? Yeah, if, it's know. all about experience. Experience is one of the main factors. But if he's in shape, McGregor yeah. got it fucked up. Cause look. Mayweather fucked him up. That nigga's twice his age, so age don't really matter. Yeah. Then again, that was in a different fighting style than what he used to. It don't matter. Though. Silva has twice the amount of experience. Bless you, brother. Bless he you. has twice Ooh. the amount of experience, literally. Like, the whole time that McGregor's been alive, and then 20 years before that, he's been doing this. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like, at that point, that experience is a big factor. Yeah, it's but like, you've been through some battles, bro. You know a lot of stances. You know a lot of different techniques. I got my money on McGregor. Yeah. Whoever, whoever won a verse me on that. Go down in the fucking comments. Let us know, man. I feel like Silva's gonna whoop his ass. <laughs> Let's see what happens. <laughs> we gotta see how he's. We gotta watch that fight for sure. Not, not for real. We'll watch yeah, it. no, that'd be a good one if it does go through. That would be nice though. Yeah, it would, man. That'd be one for the books for sure. Uh, a lot of money's involved <clears throat> in that type of shit, man. Oh, of course. Like, honestly, bro, let's be honest, bro. McGregor went into the Mayweather fight knowing he was going to lose. <laughs> no, for real. Not for real. Nah. <laughs> like, you, like you, you know, bro. You're like, yo, this, this is the best boxer. Like, ever, period. Like, defensively like, <laughs> speaking. Like, he knew what was up, but you ain't going to deny a $100 million check now. <laughs> like, it'd be oh, stupid no. to deny a $100 million check to go fight a motherfucker for 10 minutes. Be like, I'm going to get punched in the face a couple times. Okay, sure. It is like <laughs> and punch him in the face a couple times. Fuck it. Like, <laughs> yeah. Why not, bro? Like we Deal. Yeah. What else? That's fine. I'll take a couple of black guys. I don't give a fuck. But I'm, I'm gonna go not. home looking at my hundred million dollar check on my black guys like this. Jesus, dog. Like, <laughs> y'all spent a hundred million. I'm out. Dog, no. half an hour, and I'm out. No. Not even, bro. He went home. Not even with any black guys. He just got a little fucking dizzy, Both and that was it. Hit the club together that night and hit all the bitches. I, I promise you. Like, 
That's probably what they did. They're like, yo, we caught these niggas, though. Yo. We just made fucking wrecks, yo, bro. Like, well, for I, real, what the I, fuck? I told bro? you it was a good idea, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's crazy. It's finesse, man. That's it's like crazy. when uh when 50 Cent and Kanye went back and forth, and they had, like, the number one and the number two sales. Because they were like, yo, if you fucking buy my album when we beat him, fucking I'll do this. And that nigga, they were doing this shit, but it was like they were doing it on purpose. And then they had like the highest selling fucking albums that year. Oh yeah, I heard about that. Because of the yeah, beef, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like I a lot of that. that's just strategic, bro. A lot of the, a lot of the fights, all that's just strategic. It's like wrestling. Fucking, I hate wrestling. Like fucking fake ass fucking. Oh yeah, like that WWE shit. He loves uh, it. Oh, dog, I'm about to say, watch him out. He's I, looking I, at me like, <laughs> oh no, fuck no, you, no, you no. talking to me? You want to wrestle? No, nah, dog. I want to wrestle. Dark, I thought you were talking about like Olympic and yeah, collegiate wrestling, not no WWE. <laughs> that's I'm about to say, watch it now. That, that's a different one. I threw this one oh, in there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've been burning a lot. Gotcha. You know what I mean? God damn. But yeah, wrestling, man, I don't know. I feel like it's just fake to me. I feel like it's just boring because I, I know it's fake. Up. But they be filling out stadiums. That's why I don't get it. They be filling out stadiums, for real. And I have friends that are like hardcore wrestling, like fans, like to the death. And they're grown ass men. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <no. laughs> they're grown ass men, bro. I don't get how, bro. Dark, you're like, <laughs> well, well, no, dark. I, I, at like okay, a certain I'm age, like, at like six a, years old, I was like, yo, this is fake. I don't even want to watch it no more. It's bro. After like I a certain age, you sit there and look at it, you're like, all right, that's kind of dumb. Like, what, it is, what, bro. what am I doing? Watching? Like, if it was real, they were really hitting each other and doing shit. It's like, whoa, like, this is crazy. But I swear, as soon as I, like, the day I found out that shit was, was fake, my heart was broken. I was six years old, and I was like, I don't ever want to watch this shit again. <laughs> it's just stupid as fuck. For I real. never got into that shit, to be honest, bro. Yeah, bro. I watched a few, and I know, like, a few, like, of the main guys, like Hulk Hogan and shit like that. Yeah. Because who the fuck didn't know Hulk Hogan? Bro, Hulk Hogan was bigger than wrestling, bro. Yeah. yeah. He capitalized on himself, for but sure. But nah, that shit's like... I mean, salute to whoever the fuck does watch it, but that ain't for me, my guy. Thanks. Nah, there's a lot of things that ain't for me, man. Like fucking... Like, you remember fucking MTV back in the day? Remember that shit? When they, oh, yeah. when they played music? What about it, though? Like, yeah, they used to fucking play fucking music and... Yeah, it was music and Park. television. Like, now it's just like fucking... What's on there now? Fucking Jersey Shore. 16 and pregnant. Trash. 20 yeah, years later. Bro. Like, you know, shit, Let's bro. not get into that fucking <laughs> subject of 16 and pregnant. It's like, why would shit. you make a shit? Yeah, and then they have, like, it. a they, mom OG and shit. Yeah. Like, all this. Cri- it's just like, bro. Like, why are we glorifying, like, teenage girls, like, getting pregnant before they could even vote? Like. Yeah. That's. You can't buy fucking tobacco or vote yet, but... You have a kid on the way. You're getting racks for having a baby. Because you're getting paid to be on the show, and it's like... That makes other girls like, oh, I'm going to have a baby at 16 and go fucking get on the show. Yeah, I know. I I, I mean, that's just normal. That's normal nowadays, I feel like. I mean, it's always happened, bro, but I feel like kids shouldn't be having kids, bro. And at 16, you don't know dick about dick. You don't know nothing. You don't know how to take care of yourself financially. You don't know how to fucking do shit. You don't know how to do your taxes. You don't know how to pay bills. You don't know the responsibility that comes along with just that. But you want to sit here and have a fucking kid when you're a kid yourself? And then make a show about it? Yeah, and then that's the part. It's like, if you want to do that, cool. But you guys are making these girls idols to other little girls. Exactly. It's like, that's crazy. Fucking catfish and... Catfish is funny as fuck. These niggas are stupid. That show's actually fucking hilarious, bro. Like, yeah. These niggas don't they know. They catch a lot of people, bro. It's yeah, funny, like, bro. There was one around Three, four the years, you've been talking to somebody, you've never seen him, and you're yeah. expecting to see that person? Like, no. No, no. Like, after the first couple of days, if you don't see that person, it's like, nah. Listen, bro. If you don't Everyone got either FaceTime, Yeah, if some you don't FaceTime me on Rip, bro, I'm going to be like, yo, get off my line. Yeah. Swear, we're, we're in 2020 now. Come on. Nah. Everything has like a camera or fucking live. That's crazy. I don't know. But all I know is I love everybody. I love all my viewers. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> I love you guys. No, you guys to catch some sleep. Bro. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> fucking weird. Like a titty. We appreciate everybody that rocked with us again. 
like, subscribe, share. Don't forget, at a thousand subscribers, we'll be doing a giveaway. So let us know what you guys would like to see us give away. And thank you guys, Miguel and Toby. Thank you guys, bro. Right, guys, yeah. I appreciate y'all. We appreciate it, but we out, man. Hey.